Hi guys, my name is Iwachi Fadio Einstein Sano and today I'm your physics teacher. We are going to take you through how to grow the formula of uh, capacitance when we are great in serious connections. So you can subscribe to all my videos so that whatever video I do you get. So let's see. Let me look at how to prove the formula for total capacitance when the capacitors are arranged in the series connection. And here, from here, this means that all the capacitance, the individual capacitors, need individual or different voltages. And then they all need one or similar charge. That's why it's here. Okay. That's why the charge is here. Okay, it's only one. So let's see. In according to the capacitance formula, we have a general formula which is Q equals C V. Q equals C V. Where the Q is the charge. C equals capacitance. V equals voltage. Okay, so this is our general formula when we are dealing with the capacity. So let's see. We are trying to let's try to make vein the subject from this place. Okay. So we have the general formula to be able to see. So in order to make the vein the subject, we divide it by C, divide it by C. So this is going to cancel this one. So voltage vein is going to be K, which is the charge over C, which is the capacitor. Okay, so and also, looking at this diagram or this field, we have Q. Okay, so here yeah, we have um, voltage. No, we 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 can decide to write it as the total voltage then equals then one plus then two plus then three. This is our total voltage. And here, let's try to connect this one, the general one, to what we are written here. So, looking at this, V equals Q over C. So let's take it like that. V, which is V equals, so let's do substitution. So here, the V will be Q over C. So it will be Q over C. But here, we are already in series connection, so we have individual capacitance. So you are going to take this one. So you have C1. So no, no, no. So you call to the V1 in C1 and this plate, the V1 will be Q over the C. But you have individual capacitance. So you have the first capacitance plus Q over C. You have the second capacitance plus Q over the third capacitance. So you have C3. Okay, so from this place, we can do something like factorization according to our general mass that we know. So let's see, let's try to do some factorization at this place. So we have Q over C because let's factorize the Q out. Q outside. So we have 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. So let's try to divide here by Q, here by Q, to eliminate the Q, which is the charge. So divide here by Q. Divide here by Q. So this will go into cell 1, and then here 1. This 1, this 1. So let's come to this first set of this place so that we can get the place to solve them. So from here we have Q. No, the Q has been cancelled, so it's 1 over C. Equals 1 times 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. So this is what we have. So the next thing is that we have to make the C in the side. This is the total, the total capacitor. So let's see. In order to make this up, we have to um, do something like find the LCM. But here, the LCM are C, C1, C2, and C3. So from this stage, um, from this stage we are going to multiply both sides by the LCM. So C, C1, C2, C3 are all the LCM. So let's see. Okay. 
So we have to multiply this place by C, C1, C2, and C3. So 1 times C times C1 times C2 times C3 all over that C equal to 1 times C1 C times C2 C1 times C2 times C3 over the C1 plus 1 and the C1 C times C1 times C2 times C3 all divided by that C2 plus C times C1 times C2 times C3 all divided by C3 okay so here you can do some translation so this C can cancel the main C this C1 can cancel the C1 this C can cancel the C2 and this C3 can cancel the C3 so from our translation we know that we have it will be main rate C1 C2 C3 because C times C2 times C3 plus C times C1 times C3 plus C times C1 times C2 so that this is what we have okay so we are just trying to make the main capacitance the subject okay so we have C here the main C here the main C here the main C here so from this place to know we are we can make uh, we can factorize the main C out so let's try we are writing the name C1 C2 C3 because we, we factorize the main C out open bracket we have the C2 C3 plus C1 C3 plus C1 C2 okay so the next thing to do is to divide here by C2 C3 plus C1 C3 plus C1 C2 and divide here by the same thing so let's do it all over C2 C3 plus C1 C3 plus C1 C2 this place to buy that same C2 C3 plus C1 C3 plus C1 C2 so okay this will cancel this one and then you have C so let's write as C1 C2 C3 over one half here C2 C3 plus C1 C3 plus C1 C2 equal to C okay so let's bring the C to the right side so let's see C equals C1, C2, C3 over C2, C3 plus C1, C2 and C3 plus C1, C2. Okay, so this is what we have and this shows that we have proved for the total capacitance of a circuit when the capacitors are read in the series connection. So um, thank you for watching the video then you can always subscribe to my videos so then whatever I do. Let me get a Thank you for watching.